What's up everyone? Today's story is about how you can clean your backdrops or how you can even extend your backdrops in Photoshop. And be before I can go ahead, this image was taken by Nokapixel Photography and I'm going to put his Instagram link in the description. So he gave me this image and he told me to make this tutorial. So this tutorial is basically for Nokapixel. So I'm going to show you guys how you can extend your backdrops from this right here to this. So we are going to be extending and cleaning the backdrop so that you can get a better image in Photoshop. So before I can go ahead, I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. So let's kick in and start um, extending and cleaning this backdrop. So we're going to be using the Mixer Brush tool and we're going to also be using the Pen tool and the Clone Stamp tool. And we're also going to be using the Rectangular Marker tool in Photoshop. So let's kick in and start transforming this image from this right here to this this to this you can see how beautiful the image became after we had transformed it so first of all we're going to start by extending the backdrop so that it can fill the entire space it was meant to fill so in most cases the mode of tends to shift and sometimes we our camera lenses are kind of wide so we tend to capture maybe the spaces like uh, these spaces right here unknowingly so let's try to see if at all we can get the best out of this beautiful image right here so i'm going to start by deleting that layer right on top so first of all like i said we are going to start by uh filling this or extending the backdrop to fill these spaces right here so we start by clicking ctrl j to make a duplicate of that layer so first of all we are going to name this layer right here uh extension so that we can have uniform stuff so uh, uh first and foremost you can see this image right here uh, the arm kind of extends out of the backdrop so let's first of all try to see how we are going to extend this right here uh, to cover uh the backdrop right here on top of the arm i don't know if i'm making sense but let's get our pen tool right here so we're going to select this arm right here we're going to select uh sorry we're going to get the pen tool right here or you can just click a p to get the pen tool so we are going to select this area on the arm right here so so that we get an extension of that area first because uh it usually gives us a hard time when we are going to extend this area right here so start uh, by making a selection from right inside the backdrop so and come and start selecting on uh, the hand area so right now we are making anchor points using a pen tool so you can really be careful while making these uh, selections and if at all you do make a mistake don't worry about that you can always uh, go to your history uh, right here click and get your history and you can uh, go back on the anchor points or you can click on the anchor point and uh, delete it so right click there and delete the anchor point if at all you make a mistake so as you can see right now uh the reason that's why i'm making this selection bigger is because i want to get uh, a bigger selection or extend the backdrop to cover this area right here so when you're done with the selection so just right click and come to make selection so make sure your feathering is at around five or six so for this case i'm going to use six and make sure you are on anti allies so click ok so right now we have made that selection so we want to extend this uh backdrop to cover the top area before we can extend it to the top parts of uh, the image so come to your clone stamp tool right here so when you click on your clone stamp tool uh come and make a selection yeah we're going to uh, when you're making a selection of your clone stamp tool make sure you hold down the alternate button or, or the alt button so we are sampling from this area so we want to get this area right here and we paint it right here as you can see i've made a selection so just uh, paint over uh, this area and don't worry if at all you make a mistake you can just come back right here and sample and paint over that area too so come and uh paint over so right now we are done extending uh, the backdrop to cover the top 
of the arm area so what you're going to do right now you're going to deselect uh, this area by clicking ctrl d on the keyboard to deselect that area you can see it has so far done a pretty good job and uh, this area is now covered so right now what we're going to do we are going to try to extend the backdrop to cover these areas uh, of the wall i guess so it was a wall so come right here and select uh, your rectangular macro tool in photoshop now come and uh, select inside the backdrop itself by holding down sorry let me let me make this uh, a little better so i'm going to come right ctrl d to deselect that area so come and uh, select inside the backdrop like, like you can see and come right here to edit then come to free transform so when you come to free transform you get these adjustable points so you can easily shift them or drag them towards this side so for this case we are going to drag this all the way up because we want to cover at uh, this area of the backdrop so after that click enter and now you can ctrl d to deselect that area so you're going to keep on doing this for the rest of uh, the image so as you can see right on top you're going to and the other thing make sure when you're making uh, the selection make sure you start from uh, the border of uh, the portrait so make sure you be accurate so come and select you can see that then now we are going to come back to edit and now or you can just click ctrl t for the shortcut and now we are going to also move this and cover this area of the backdrop so don't worry if at all we skip uh, a particular area you are going to come and uh, we are going to cover it so you can as well move this slightly down as you can see it is click enter to approve what you have done and ctrl d to deselect so you are also going to fill up this tiny area right here so after doing this we are going to uh, clean up the backdrop you can see it is wrinkled and we have some bad selections right here so so you're going to click ctrl t yeah and now we're going to that is uh, the shortcut for transforming as you can see so click enter and now ctrl d to deselect that area as you can see we have filled up as uh, the topmost area so we want to fill up this area right here so when we are filling up this area just come and now make uh, a selection right here so ctrl t to transform or you can just come to edit right here and uh, uh, get free transform right here so that's why i'm using the shortcut for transforming so just come and now you can just pull it all the way this side and you can just transform this area as you can see now as i was trying to avoid a uh, covering address i skipped this area right here so we are going to click enter and ctrl d to deselect that area so we are going to just fill in this area so we are going to make uh, a simple selection right here ctrl t to transform ctrl t and now we are just going to cover it up just like that so ctrl d to deselect sorry enter and ctrl ctrl d to deselect that area so we are done extending our backdrop but you can see uh, we have some uh, imperfections right here so let's try to see how we can go about that and as you can see this area right here it was kind of dark so you can see our extension here doesn't uh, correspond or match with this area right here so we are going to get back our clone stamp tool and we are going to sample from this area right here click out so we are going to uh, paint over this area you can see we are trying to uh, match uh, the colors so don't worry if at all this is really rough so uh, we are going to do that in the cleaning so we are done extending our backdrop you can see 
the before after before after so right now we are going to clean up this backdrop and we are going to remove this ring also click ctrl j and we are going to name this uh clean backdrop so if at all you love this video don't forget to like this uh video and drop a comment in the comment section so we are going to be using a mixer brush tool so just right click and uh, you get your mixer brush tool because mine is around here and if at all you don't have it here uh, just come under brushes right click and you'll get your mixer brush tool and for the settings we are going to be using a clean brush make sure this right here is checked yeah this is checked and now uh, for the wetness we are going to be using 31 and the load 75 percent the mix at 90 and the uh, flow 100 the reason for the clean brush is uh, we want uh, the brush to clean itself after each every stroke every stroke it's like when you're painting and you're having your brush so you want to apply another color you have to dip your brush in maybe water or maybe kerosene or paraffin so that's the reason that's why we uh, use clean brush so we want the brush to clean itself after each and every stroke uh the witness is at that one we wouldn't want to go above that one because it is going to create a uh, bad results for us so just make sure you remain within 28 to 31 and the load 75 the mix at 90 and the flow at 100 make sure sample all layers is not checked so increase on the brush and uh, we are going to start and make sure when you're uh, mixing or using a mixer brush tool make sure you mix the highlights alone the mid tones alone and the shadows alone because we wouldn't want to drag our, our one color from one end to another because uh, we may end up uh, getting uh, imperfect uh an imperfect backdrop i don't know if i make sense there yeah so just a uh, clean and paint over the backdrop so you shouldn't worry if at all you have a wrinkled backdrop in your next shot so make sure you just clean it semi uh well and yeah you'll get the most beautiful images out of uh your portrait so just uh, clean it simply and smoothly so and people will look at your work and they'll be like yeah wow the photographer really knew what they were doing so i don't know if you guys are learning something from this tutorial and if at all you're learning don't forget to uh subscribe to this channel and help us or motivate us to keep on creating more content for you guys so make sure you subscribe and like this tutorial like this video so i uh, just keep on doing this as you can see and now uh, we have uh, some areas so right on these areas make sure uh, you don't i uh, do really be careful not paint over uh, the areas of the skin or the cloth so make sure you really uh, be careful and use a smaller brush for uh, these particular areas so let's uh, do this and uh, let's keep around so that I can show you guys one more important thing yeah for uh, this tutorial so just keep around so that we can learn uh, this uh, important trick together so you can see it is really really doing a pretty beautiful and clean job uh, for cleaning uh, this beautiful backdrop so and for those areas you have not cleaned well you can always come back and now as like now we are blending these uh, highlights and shadows in the backdrop so you can see let's keep on checking on our progress as usual can see before after before after and now when you come right above uh, the arm area we have uh, these lines so make sure you don't leave anything while you are uh, blending or cleaning the backdrop because uh, they may show uh, in your image and they uh, won't have amazing results to a person that is going to be looking at our portrait so make sure you really take your time while doing this and don't miss out on any area of uh, your portrait so 
just do that so that's why you're seeing i'm zooming all the way in because i want to get everything really really well and nice so this is so far our progress and as you can see for these areas you can continue doing it according to what is best for you and the more time you take while doing this the better your portrait is going to turn out to be so make sure you uh, take your time while uh, cleaning your backdrop because at the end of it all we want a beautiful and a nice portrait and I know this tutorial is going to help you up your uh, photography game because um so many people out there don't know how to do this and it is the same method you can use for uh, removing uh, wrinkles from uh, from clothes in photoshop so you can use this very method uh, for removing wrinkles in photoshop and i know uh, most people prefer to use it alongside uh, freaking separation so that they can work on the colors alone and uh, non-destructively but uh, this method to works if, uh, even if you don't know how to use freaking separation so and the thing is you re you really have to be careful while doing this so just uh, do this and clean up your beautiful image so let's see our progress so far so let's zoom out a little bit as you can see now the image really looks nice and you can see a before after before after so this is how you extend your backdrop in photoshop and this is how you clean up your backdrops in photoshop and let me group all we have done ctrl g to group them so you can see before after before after so this is how you extend your backdrop and clean it up in photoshop and if at all love this tutorial don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe to this channel I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and keep on creating. I'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel and stay blessed.